Good morning, friends. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Carnegie Endowment for International Peace India and the Ministry of External Affairs for inviting me to this sixth edition of Global Technology Summit. And uh, I've been asked to look into, you know, sort of talk about the the digital journey of the country and also as to how uh, health uh, sector is going to be transformed by use of information and communication technology. So I'll begin uh, by by making this statement that today uh, the digital India journey, which was started about seven years back, has been successful in creating a number of digital public goods, which are working as the building blocks for various solutions in various sectors. Uh, the Digital India program, uh, you know, envisaged uh, to make India into a digitally empowered society and a knowledge economy. And the there are three kind of vision areas of the, uh, the whole vision of Digital India. One was creating a digital infrastructure and connectivity as a utility to citizens. So, so that was one part that, you know, ultimately, unless we are connected, we cannot really have any digital online solution. So we today have 1.18 billion mobile connections. We have 800 billion internet connections. We have 600 million uh, smartphones in this country. And we have the cheapest data rates in the world. So India, though it does not have that much of fixed line connectivity, India does have a very ubiquitous uh, connectivity and 600,000 villages of the country are uh, more or less connected by a 4G connectivity and of course 5G is on the horizon. So I think we are pretty robust in terms of connectivity. Thereafter, the second area of Digital India was to build digital uh, solutions. So basically software and services on demand. And we have created a number of uh, these software and services. So one is digital identity, which is also a kind of infrastructure uh, of, of digital identity system, which can be plugged into any transaction. And on top of those digital identity, we have created authentication services, electronic KYC services, digital locker services, and also electronic signatures on demand and various other artifacts. And, and on top, it, top of it all, we have created a UPI, the Unified Payment Interface, which is actually a very, very scalable and frugal payment system. The last month, we clocked about 4.2 billion transactions in that. So I think we have built a number of horizontal service delivery components uh, by way of these public digital goods. Now, what is going to happen is, that we are going to utilize and leverage these goods and also create a number of other digital public goods in the health space so as to provide uh, quality, accessible and affordable health care to our citizens. And the Aishman Bharat Digital Mission uh, launched by our Prime Minister on 27th of September this year is the one which is going to play an extremely important role in this journey. So, so during the last one year, because he had announced a pilot on 15th of August 2020, we have been experimenting and developing new, uh, you know, sort of stack components. So one is the health facility registry, which essentially will work as a reference registry for the health facilities in the country and which can be used by any application to locate the facilities, what are available, what is the bad capacity, what are the other details of that fa those facilities. Similarly, we are going to have the health professionals registry, which means the registry of the doctors, the vets, the nurses and, and the ANMs and ASHAs and all the health workers of various categories. So that will, you know, help people in locating the nearest doctor uh, if they have to, you know, go to visit, visit a doctor and, and stuff like that. Similarly, we are want to have the personal health record uh, registry, registry in the sense that we want to have a PHR application, which will basically mean that one will be able to get a horizontal view or a longitudinal view of his or her health records. 
and and that we we have created uh, the health id which will work like an health account which which essentially will be able to what will be able to see the records and it is all based on privacy and consent uh, by design so therefore the owner of the data which is the person to whom the health records pertains he or she will be the one who will have the full control on those records so i think this all these things together are going to create an interoperable system which will essentially ensure that we are able to connect the client applications with the facilities with the providers and with the laboratories with the hospitals etc and in a manner which is completely interoperable completely non discretionary and 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 completely open so this we are calling it unified health interface now unified health interface will basically work in an open and transparent manner wherein the various applications will be able to be plugged to provide citizen services and and of course the tele consultation or the digital consultation or telemedicine whatever you call it will be an important part of it this will ensure that the geographical boundaries will will break which means a remote a patient sitting in remote area will be able to connect with the doctor sitting in mumbai or delhi that's number one number two he or she will be able to pay the doctor using the upi using the the digital uh, you know payment uh, transactions he or she will be able to you know accumulate or or see her his or her health record using the using the phr application then uh, he will be basically able to get the prescription from the doctor which will be digitally signed using the e sign facility which the country has developed so therefore all the tools are already available for us to activate this ecosystem and the specific tools especially relating to the health space has already been built and i explained them to you you know the the phr the health facility registry the drug registry for example is another very important uh, component where we will be able to you know put the a list of entire drugs along with their prices along with the formula and and the equivalence and all those things so that people are able to buy uh, cheaper drugs generic drugs or whatever drugs they want to buy so i think those things will will uh, ultimately work in in tandem and and will work to provide uh, health services to our people uh, leveraging technology reducing cost making it more affordable however let me also add in the end that all this system will work only when everybody participates in it so it's an open system where the private sector and public sector both will have to participate it's a system which will be win 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 for everybody uh, it will a system which will which will bring about ras- you know transparency and rationality imagine we built coven and coven now you know at one point in time coven has been recording 1000 or more than 1000 vaccinations per second that's a scalable platform we have 135 crore uh, you know you know entities and 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 entries on the on this this platform and we are we have done 2.5 crore also in a single day so these are the platforms and what we are we are building here is essentially an open interoperable frugal scalable inclusive and platform based on open apis open standards and open source so these are some of the you know basic architectural principles which we have learned from aadhar and since then we have been building multiple platforms and i think this is also going to be such a transformational platform which we think will be able to transform the public service delivery in the health space thank you very much for inviting me i just wanted to share these these thoughts with you as to what uh, we are doing how we are uh, uh, trying to leverage technology to deliver health services the pmjy is another program insurance program assurance program which provides to as many as 540 million uh, people uh, the, the the health insurance cover of of 500000 rupees per family per year and that's also going to become scalable by including many more insurance related uh, programs which are already in existence and we are going to provide a converged platform to those programs also so on the one hand we will we will ensure <coughs> that people are used able to use technology on the other hand we are also trying to ensure that the out of pocket expenditure for poor people is 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 minimized so thank you very much once again for inviting me 
to this international uh, you know uh, sort of a piece of uh, international conference uh, which you have organized thank you